hello students this time i have come with literature not language this time and it is for my icsc students and the illustration or the diagram in the board must have given you an idea what i am going to teach you today yes it is the cold within i am very bad at drawing i have only just tried to make you clear that there were 1 2 3 4 5 six. six people sitting around the fire and each of them had a log of wood in their hands but i have tried to show that they kept the logs far away from the fire which was burning in the middle it, this is the fire it's a very bad fire of course but you'll get an idea what i'm trying to impart is that they kept their each of them had a log of wood in their hands but they tried to keep it far away from the fire they didn't try to contribute to the burning of the fire so as to keep them warm and as a result what happened all of them died so this is what the poem tells you so i always advise my students that you should read the box portion sometimes you get your answers to your questions from this box so what is it about the poem describes the tragic death of six 1 2 3 4 5 6 who stand around a fire each holding on grimly to a log of wood so let's first read the poem and then we'll come back to it the cold within six humans trapped by happenstance in bleak and bitter cold each one possessed a stick of wood or so the story is told so what happened six humans by accident it was by chance they were trapped it they did not come with each other on a on account of their own free will maybe something happened which forced them to get or sit together around a fire so they were trapped by happenstance by accident in bleak and bitter cold so it was very severely cold and they were trapped and what happened each of them had a log or a stick of wood in their hands and that is what the story tells us their dying fire so the fire is dying out it's so cold and it must have been burning for a long time so their dying fire in need of logs so the dying fire needed some fuel some logs of wood or whatever to put on it to make it go on burning to continue burning it needed some logs of wood and it was not that there wasn't any log of wood nearby yes all of them had a stick in their hand each of them for but the first one held hers back so first one is a female why a woman why because we are told held hers back so she keeps her log of wood back hmm. for of the faces around the fire she noticed one was black so suppose she is the first one so she looks at the faces of number 2 3 4 5 6 oh there is a black man there so no i am not going to give my log of wood so she keeps the log of wood to herself why because she is a racist color discrimination like poshia i say is a racist remember the prince of morocco regarding him she had said that if he has the nature of a saint and the complexion of a devil i would rather he should shrive me than wife me mane rather he should become my preacher than my husband so she was not ready to have a black person as her husband so even this woman she is a racist and that is why she refuses to part with her log of wood what about the second one the second person what is he the next man looking across the way saw not one knot of his church so he looks at all these faces and he finds oh that person he doesn't belong to my religion saw not one one knot of his church and could not bring himself to give the fire his stick of birch so he had a branch of the birch tree in his hand but my god that fellow he does suppose maybe number 4 he says oh he doesn't belong to my religion so why should i give my log of wood to this fire to help him to keep warm no i'm not going to give just see what petty reasons stop them from 
contributing to a fire which is essential or indispensable for all of them foolish people so he doesn't part with it now comes the turn of the third man the third one sat in tattered clothes he gave his coat a hitch when he pulls it close to himself why it's already tattered in a very bad condition so he pulls his coat close to his body to keep himself warm why should his log be put to use to warm the idle rich now he has a prejudice against the rich people he says oh there is a rich person why should i part with my log of wood no i am not going to give my log of wood to keep him warm he is a rich person and because of him i am a poor one i am deprived under privilege so i am not going to give my log of wood to warm him he is an idle rich and now for the fourth one and now suppose the he is the poor one so the fourth one is the rich one and what does he do the rich man just sat back and thought of the wealth he had in store and how to keep what he had earned from the lazily lazy shiftless poor so the rich man uh, cozily sitting ah uh, and he's thinking i have made so much gold hmm. so how can i preserve them and keep them away from the reach of these poor people they are idle they are lazy they don't do any work i have with my effort earned all this wealth and i have to see that i can preserve them so he keeps his log of wood to himself so the fourth person also doesn't contribute to the dying fire poor fire the fifth one he is the black man fifth one is the black man the black man's face bespoke revenge as the fire passed from his sight for all he saw in his stick of wood was a chance to spite the white so black people under privilege have been uh, badly treated so today he has a log of wood in his hand and he feels oh this is my chance you all have treated me badly always looked down upon me looked at me in a contemptuous manner so and you think i will give my log of wood to help you to keep warm no 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 this is my chance so he also doesn't give his log of wood and the last person just see the last man of this forlorn group this is a figure of speech forlorn means lonely and group means a collection so it is a, a figure of speech and what do we call it oxymoron when two opposites are placed side by side like bitter sweet that is also an oxymoron so forlorn group the last man of this forlorn group did not accept for gain giving only to those who gave was how he played the game so he is an opportunist he gives only to those who give he doesn't do anything out of philanthropy he doesn't do anything out of kindness he doesn't do anything because uh, without the thought that he is getting he will be getting something back in return you he believes in the give and take policy you give me i give you you don't give me i don't so he is like this so that is why since none of the, the other five have contributed to the fire he has not got anything from them so he is also not parting with his log of wood so what happened as a result of this selfish activity their logs held tight in death still hands so logs held tight in death still hand so death is being personified here as something having hands so their logs held tight in death still hands was proof of human sin they did not die from the cold without they died from the cold within so the cold without was not the reason for their death so what happened eventually the fire died out and they were found frozen to death like the little match girl remember you have it in your prose section the little match girl she died on account of the cold 
here the poet is telling they didn't die because of the cold from outside they were found frozen to death because the fire had died out but according to the poet they died on account of the cold within yeah and it is true why because had they not been cold within if they were a little more considerate if they had been kind if they had thought about others each of them would have contributed in the uh, to the fire with their logs of wood and when you do good to others it comes back to you so if they had each contributed to the dying fire with their logs of wood the fire would have kept them alive preserved them so when the fire died out the lives also died out from left within from their body so now let's go back to the box portion what is written in the box and you will find you will get some answers to your questions here the poem describes the tragic death of a group of six who stand around a fire each holding on grimly to a log of wood so all of them they have a log of wood in their hands allowing their selfishness prejudice malice and suspicions to dictate their actions so their actions were dictated with all these vices which what are vices vices are the negative qualities the good qualities we call them virtue and the negative qualities we call them vice so they were guided by their vice and on account of it what did they do they kept the logs to themselves they did not part with it they refused to share the log to fuel the dying fire and keep each other warm so they think of them sir they don't think of those so they don't they have no intention to keep the others warm and that is why they also you don't uh, think of them so they won't think of you eventually the fire dies out and in the morning all six of them are found frozen to death each clutching even in death a log that could have so easily saved their lives if only they had overcome the petty barriers of class race and religion class rich and poor race white and black and religion he is not of my church so this had divided them and their poem is a simple yet powerful reminder that if we selfishly hold on to the world's resources and the wealth that it has to offer if we persist in discriminating on grounds of race religion caste gender and ethnicity we are all lost so this poem is a reminder it teaches us a lesson and we should pay attention to the lesson and always before thinking of us as we should always think of the others also because when you do good to others it comes back to you whatsoever you do to others it comes back to you so the cold within is a lesson which tells us of the tragic death of these people because of the cold within not on account of the cold outside so what are the things you have to keep in mind regarding this poem you might get a question appropriateness of the title so here the title is very appropriate and you will go at length to tell it might at the maximum have four marks and then the theme so have compassion for others so there are quite a few themes also and other than this you need to know your um, figures of speech personification oxymor oxymoron and all that you have and also remember each of the six men why did they refuse to give their logs of wood and this is how you will have to deal with them and you can always refer to xavier pinto i always tell my students xavier pinto is a very good workbook workbook on treasure trove volume 1 poems icsc it is by xavier pinto so when you need to go for a little more than what is taught in the classes this is the best book for it and you get also your vocabularies i mean your vocabulary is enriched when there are certain words of uh, which you are not aware you don't know the meaning of these or maybe how a phrase there is a phrase and you don't know how it is used so this book helps you 
and not only that you have your questions well Xavier Pinto is not related to me I will not get any commission I'm only doing it to help you because I have found it a good book and being a teacher I always want that you all should be helped in all possible ways I'm not going to gain anything I'm not getting any commission like the schools do they always advocate buy this book buy that book why because when you all buy so many students buy in a bulk they get a commission I have nothing to, like that actually I tell my students because this is a good book and all that you need to prepare for your ICSC uh, the questions specimen paper questions they are very helpful not only that they show you how to answer how much is required what type uh, how to answer your questions according to the ICSC board in school and what you answer in your boards it's very different because I have seen quite a few schools they are always in favor of lengthy answers no lengthy answers are not the ICSC board ones ICSC board is always for concise answers to the point answers ICSC trained teachers will never tell you to write lengthy answers West Bengal board people they can because they are accustomed to writing lengthy lengthy answers but not ICSE those who are truly ICSE trained teachers they will always say write to the point answers three marks not more and your points if there are points you will have to write down point wise also or paragraph wise but remember that each subdivision should have a separate paragraph each subdivision in a question if there are three subdivisions then three paragraphs whether the paragraph is of one line is not important the paragraph should be there as many subdivisions the same number of paragraphs so I think this poem has become easy for you you don't have any problems one by one I will go on with all the 10 poems I have already done the bangle sellers you can check it in the video section in my playlist you can check it the bangle sellers has already been done because I had thought it was important for last year being an Indian poet Sarojini Naidu but no it did not come this year so it is always important for y'all and this is the second poem so eight more poems remaining and I have done Chief Seattle so nine and the old man at the bridge so eight more poems and eight more prose remaining so which we will do in the course of time so have a good time and yes 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 if you have not subscribed to my channel please do because I am finding that most of the people who are viewing these videos they are not my subscribers so please 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 if you want some more good work if you want to inspire me please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the like button if you have liked this video they make me feel good I feel I have done a good job and it will help me in my future journey so that I can come up with more and be at your side so have a good time today I bid you goodbye